So guys, buckle up, because what I'm about to tell you about Apple's upcoming M5 Max MacBook Pro is shaping up to be one of the most dramatic, game-changing evolutions in Apple's laptop history. And if even a portion of these new leaks, insider code references, engineering reports, and early benchmark predictions hold any weight, then we're staring at a future where Apple basically decides to stop playing around and instead drops the most powerful, creator-focused, machine learning optimized, AI accelerated MacBook they have ever built, all while maintaining that familiar, iconic MacBook Pro aesthetic that first launched in 2021, a design that according to internal product roadmaps and macOS 26.3 development identifiers, is entering its final chapter before the arrival of the long-rumored OLED generation, expected around early 2027. Which means this upcoming M5 Max update won't be about flashy redesigns or cosmetic gimmicks, but instead about raw, unfiltered computing power that pushes the limits of Apple Silicon in ways we simply haven't seen before. And as we break down the core structure of the M5 Max chip, it becomes crystal clear that Apple's engineers have essentially decided to unleash the full potential of their next-generation performance architecture. Because according to detailed breakdowns discovered within macOS 26.3 internal references, Apple is implementing a hybrid CPU cluster that maintains four efficiency cores, similar to what we saw in M1 Max, M2 Max, and M3 Max generations. But the real jaw-dropping upgrade is the performance core expansion, where the base bin variant of the M5 Max reportedly jumps to 12 performance cores while the fully unlocked non-bin configuration pushes all the way to 14, resulting in total CPU layouts of 16 and 18 cores respectively. And when you compare that to the 12-core layout in earlier Max chips, the growth is simply unbelievable because these additional performance cores aren't just numbers on a sheet. They translate to exponentially greater headroom for high-end workloads, multi-threaded creative pipelines, virtualization, Xcode compiling, machine learning model deployment, and real-time 3D rendering. And that's where the story gets even more exciting. Early leaked benchmark estimates suggest the single-core performance of the M5 Max will hover around 4,263, which matches the standard M5 chip. But the multi-core scores are where all the fireworks explode because insiders are predicting values around 17,862, which is not only a massive jump, compared to the M1 Max's roughly 12,000 and the M2 Max's 14,000. But it essentially means Apple has more than doubled the multi-core power in just three generations of Apple Silicon. A staggering pace of improvement that showcases just how aggressively the company is pushing its performance roadmaps for the next few years as they begin transitioning even deeper into AI-boosted workloads, 8K video processing, physics, simulations, complex compute tasks, and massive GPU-accelerated workflows that creators, scientists, developers, and engineers rely on every day. And speaking of GPUs, the graphics side of the M5 Max is shaping up to be equally insane because early metal benchmark predictions from industry analysts suggest the bin version of the GPU in this chip could hit around 219,500 metal score while the full version may reach roughly 216,700. And when you compare that to the M1 Max's roughly 106,000 metal score, it becomes obvious that Apple is preparing to deliver a generation-defining leap in GPU horsepower, especially given the rumored core configurations. 34 GPU cores for the base bin version and 42 GPU cores for the top spec configuration which would make the M5 Max the most graphically powerful MacBook Pro ever produced. And that level of GPU expansion isn't just about gaming or visual effects. It ties directly into Apple's broader push into AI-enhanced workflows, neural rendering, generative design, on-device machine learning acceleration, real-time environment mapping, advanced photogrammetry, and mixed reality content pipelines that Apple has been heavily promoting throughout their Vision Pro roadmap and long-term AI strategy. And while many users may have hoped that this generation would bring an OLED display or a new chassis, those features have now been pushed further into the future with OLED MacBook Pro models expected to begin mass production late 2026, meaning retail launch Y. 
LL almost certainly align with early 2027, likely alongside M6 series chips, and that positions the M5 Mac generation as the final and most refined version of the 2021 era MacBook Pro design, a design that has aged incredibly well thanks to its mini LED display, high brightness levels, 120 Hz promotion support, and exceptional thermal capacity, allowing Apple to unleash more powerful chips without worrying about overheating or throttling. And when we zoom out to look at Apple's release timeline, the puzzle pieces start fitting perfectly because macOS 26.3 internal identifiers labeled J14 and J16 correspond directly to the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models now in advanced testing stages. While macOS 26.2.2 identifiers labeled J813 and J815 point to the upcoming M5 MacBook Air models expected to launch first, most likely in January 2026 as part of Apple's standard early year refresh strategy, which then positions the M5 Pro and M5 Max MacBook Pro lineup for a spring 2026 reveal, likely March, mirroring many of Apple's previous launch cycles where the lighter consumer-focused laptops debut first followed by the high-powered professional lineup. And this timing is crucial because it aligns with multiple supply chain reports that Apple has scaled production for M5 wafers through TSMC's second-generation 3-nanometer process, enabling higher core counts, lower voltage leakage, improved efficiency per watt, and significantly better thermal stability during sustained workloads, and that means creators, filmmakers, developers, 3D artists, and data professionals are going to see real-world improvements in everything from Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve rendering times, to Logic Pro track processing, to Blender and Cinema, 4D viewport smoothness, to Xcode compile times, to massive AI model inference workloads that run directly on device without cloud latency, and beyond raw performance. The M5 Max MacBook Pro is expected to feature improved media engines capable of handling 8K workflows more efficiently, new neural engine enhancements to accelerate AI-driven features in macOS 27 and macOS 28, and expanded unified memory bandwidth likely surpassing the already impressive numbers found in the M4 Max. And while we don't yet have confirmed RAM configurations, Industry analysts suggest Apple may offer options up to 256 gigabytes unified memory, especially given the growing reliance creators have on complex generative tools, simulation pipelines, large language, model processing, and advanced graphical workflows that demand enormous RAM overhead. And while the exterior design of the M5 Max MacBook Pro is expected to remain the same, complete with the familiar rectangular profile, the Liquid Retina XDR Mini LED Panel, the six-speaker sound system, the SD card slot, the HDMI port, and the MagSafe connector. Apple is reportedly refining the internal cooling structure yet again to better dissipate heat generated by the 18-core CPU and 42-core GPU configurations, which would allow the machine to maintain peak performance for significantly longer durations than previous generations, something especially important for sustained multi-hour rendering tasks or prolonged high-performance GPU workloads. And when we talk about pricing, the consensus across analysts, insiders, and supply chain leaks is that Apple is not expected to raise the price of the MacBook Pro lineup this generation, meaning the M5 Pro and M5 Max MacBook Pro models will almost certainly follow the same starting points as the M4 series beginning at roughly $1,999 for the 14-inch model and climbing above $3,499 for fully maxed out high memory, high GPU, high storage configurations. And that's a big deal because it means Apple is packing significantly more performance into the same price tier, making the M5 Max generation one of the most valued dense MacBook Pro upgrades in recent years, especially for users coming from the M1 Max or Intel Air MacBook Pros who We'll see astronomical leaps in CPU, GPU, thermal stability, battery efficiency, and overall day-to-day -day responsiveness. And if you think that's the end of the story, think again because the M5 Max MacBook Pro also ties directly into Apple's long-term ecosystem strategy, where high-performance on-device compute becomes the foundation for Apple intelligence expansions. 
Real-time generative features in future macOS builds. Advanced simulation engines and professional apps. Hybrid workflow. Transitions between Vision Pro and Mac and Apple. S gradual move toward becoming the leading company in AI accelerated personal computing. Meaning this generation of MacBook Pros is far more important than just the next upgrade. It is the final evolution of a design era, the beginning of a new performance standard in mobile computing, and a major stepping stone toward Apple's 2027 OLED redesign and M6 series future. Making the M5 Max MacBook Pro not just another laptop refresh, but a milestone product that symbolizes Apple's commitment to redefining high-end laptops for creatives, coders, analysts, gamers, editors, researchers, and ambitious power users around the globe.